Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasala. Koholoyim la, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say throughout it toward the Akim Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shah Khanan Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, why everybody concentrated on this this yay and you know a bunch of other bullshit uh you know these these bullshit ass elections and whatever else is going on that has people's minds elsewhere you know this is what's going on you know these prophecies are playing out the prophecy of world war three is in play the prophecy of the motb that c that c hip we call it that grain of rice they want to put in you revelations 13 and 16 that's in play but in the meanwhile all this controversy over somebody like Kanye is is ruling the, the the media and social media, newspaper, you name it. It's all over the place, man, with these people talking about this guy as if he really said something so wrong. You know what I'm saying? This was <laughs> I mean, we talking about this the same guy that said that George Bush didn't care about black people. <laughs> now, I know that was a different time period of, you know, the cancel culture. But, man, they 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 going a whole full lengths on this guy man over over you know him saying basically he's he's you know he's a jew he's like hey he told the guy he was like yo i'm not jewish pertaining to i'm a jew <laughs> and then the guy asked him you know what i'm saying was he affiliated it you know or you know did he agree with the the, the basically the ideology of the b the uh bhi or the black hebrew israelites so that, you know, hey, don't let none of that stuff, man, fool you. Don't don't let this man uh, blind you with that, man, because these things right here are happening. And this is what they're trying to cover, it, it, along with a whole bunch of stuff, man. It's a whole list of things that they're trying to cover. But they keep the, the, the people going with bread and circus. All they want you to do is continue. Hey, watch the Sunday football game. You know, watch this controversy that's going on over here. You know, look at this person over here arguing with this person. Look at the fight between this person and this person. This person got shot and killed, road rage, you know. And now the weather, you know, that that's the type of stuff that they throw at you to keep you, you know, the people just not watching, man. And the scripture says to watch and pray. Okay, but this says, um, this is Rudders, Russia strike, Russian strikes, Russia strikes Ukrainian infrastructure. Says it may destroy Western satellites. See? So this thing right here is steadily growing. There's a lot of stuff that's going on with these wars, man. Rumors of wars, these these skirmishes that's going on, right? Now this is London, Kiev, October 27. Rudders, a senior Russian government official raised the possibility that Moscow could shoot down commercial Western satellites being used to help Ukraine's war front or war effort as Russia pressed ahead with this bombing campaign against Ukrainian infrastructure. If acted on, the threat would inevitably raise fears about spiraling escalations of the eight-month-old conflict and the risk of direct confrontation between Russia and the West. There was no immediate reaction from the United States or commercial satellite providers. Konstantin Vorontsov, if I'm pronouncing that right, Salakia, you know, they've got some pretty strange names. A senior Russian foreign ministry official said the use of western satellites to aid the ukrainian war effort was extremely dangerous an extremely dangerous trend quasi quasi civilian infrastructure may be a legitimate target for a retaliatory strike adding that the west's use of such satellites to support ukraine was provocative and he told that to the united nations first committee okay he says we're talking about the involvement of components of civilian space infrastructure, including commercial, by the United States and its allies in armed conflicts, said Varmanstov. He did not mention any specific satellite companies, though Elon Musk said earlier this month that his rocket company, SpaceX, will continue to fund its Starlink internet service in Ukraine, citing the need for good deeds. All right, see, but this is what I'm saying, man. These people are constantly somewhere. They, they, they're, they're not... You know, the scriptures talks about they're, they're not keepers at home. You're all in other people's territories doing all kinds of shit. You know, <laughs> you damn Edomites, man. The Lord is about to get got about to get down on y'all, man. He's already getting down on you. He's actually putting you against each other. 
that separation, man. That house divided against, you know, the house cannot stand. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Let me see here. A house divided cannot stand, man. And see, these are Edomites fighting against Edomites. Edomites against Edomites, man. A house divided cannot stand. Matthew 12 and 25, and it reads. And Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or, or house divided against itself shall not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So how is this man's kingdom going to stand when they're all fighting against each other? See, the Russians and Ukrainians are, are the same people. The Russians and the so-called white man in America, they're the same people. <laughs> you see, the, the, the so-called the, uh, the, the, the Jew, the Jewish person over in, in Israel, those are the same people. They're all of them are Edomites. They all come from the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jake. I mean, um, the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, Salakia. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you come from the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites. So let's get some more. Because they're divided. And they're, not only are they divided in, within their, their continents or their country, so to speak, they're divided in, you know, amongst themselves globally. See, they, 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 they used to take a stance together, even though they may have had some differences, but they used to actually take a stance together as a, as a race of people. Now they're fighting against each other. But that goes off until you reap what you sown. You know what I'm saying? Um, Galatians 6 and 7. You see? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. I'll grab that. You reap what you sow, man. Galatians 6 and 7. And this goes off into nations as well as men. Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So you reap what you sow. And the so-called white man, he's reaped such um, discord amongst families and brethren in the, in the planet for so long. Now that same thing is starting to, you know, come back to haunt them. You know what I'm saying? Because they're dying off quicker than they're being born. And they're not having children like how they used to. And, you know... They have an opioid problem. They got a suicide problem. Um, it, it, they, they, it, you know, they're dying of a lot of different diseases, skin, dis you know, skin cancers and, you know, cancer in, in general. Um, you know, just a lot of mental shit going on. A lot of them are just drugged the hell out. They're like, it's a lot more alcoholism and especially amongst their children. So they're not reproducing like how they used to. And they're being, you know, the Lord is, is, is basically giving them the fruits of their deeds the iniquities that they've committed man the the, the things that they've done they're com you know they're actually reaping those um rewards so to speak you know it's just on a on, in a bad way but let's go to isaiah it's that 34 29 and i'm here at the uh the plantation around a, about a hundred of them right now outside they're having a, a damn I don't know what the hell they having. Some kind of picnic or some shit. I'm just sitting here ready to get the hell off. I don't know. What was that? Uh, what's that Job 34 and 29? Yeah, here at the plantation, man, doing a lesson right in their face. And they don't even know what. It. it says, when he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him? Whether it be done against a nation or against a man only. So... The Lord, he deals with nations of people and he deals with the individual people within those nations. So he can set a he can send a whole nation into slavery like how he sent us into slavery or he can he can raise a nation up or he can bring a nation down. You see what I'm saying? And that's what's happening to the Americas, the American uh, or just the, the, the so-called white man's infrastructure in general, his whole global thing is falling because the lord is is starting to punish them for the things that they've done because their kingdom must be brought down before the lord comes and rule the lord is not about to allow these people to rule man when he comes ain't gonna be no sharing and no rulership when he comes because if that was the case these so-called white people man they would enslave the lord man if they could they will enslave the angels if they could they will enslave the uh the father on his throne if they could you better believe it man that's just their nature so now let's go back off into this it says, Russia has a significant offensive space capability, as do the United States and China. In 2021, Russia launched an anti-satellite missile to destroy one of its own satellites. 
Moscow in August accused the United States of direct involvement in the war after Vadim Skibitsky, Ukraine's deputy head of military intelligence, told Britain's Telegraph newspaper that Kyiv was using U.S. supplied high mobility artillery rocket systems and Mars launchers based on what he called excellent satellite imagery and real time information. So America is involved in this war, man, though they, they claim, uh, well, we don't have boots on the ground. No, you're involved in this shit, man. You're involved in it. You, you, you left Afghanistan to 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 not even only not even a year later, get involved with this Russian Ukraine shit. Not even a year later, man. They left a 20 year war to get into this, man. And spending you taxpayers money on that shit. And this is the reason why, you know, a lot of these these so-called white people here are divided because they understand a lot of them understand what's going on. They understand that their their government is, is not what they've always said that they was, man. They, they've now they're starting to see that hey, I went to fight for this country for nothing. Basically, it says. Um, satellite images of the conflict zone captured by commercial U.S. satellite imagery firms are poured over daily on Twitter by open source intelligence experts who highlight the coordinates of the potential Russian military vulnerabilities. So what you think they're going to do? They're like, hey, you giving up our location. We got to destroy y'all shit, which is going to further involve the U.S. more and more because they're already involved. They might as well go ahead and get down, you know, instead of being, a, you know, all, you know, the fucking liars that they are, you know. Here you go spending all this taxpayers money and sending billions and billions and billions of fucking dollars over there to support this shit. You might as well go ahead and get boots on the ground. You might as well fly your jets in there, man. You might as well go ahead and, and attack Russia, man. Go ahead and attack Russia so we can get this thing popping. It says with Ukraine's counteroffensive in its southern Kherson region slowing down in recent days due to wet weather and difficult terrain and no dramatic changes in the east either. Key said Russia was pressing ahead with a campaign to destroy critical infrastructure ahead of the winter. Ukrainian officials have said the campaign was aimed at breaking people's spirit to resist by depriving them of basic utilities such as light and heat, a strategy they say is doomed to failure. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Hey, when people get cold and they have children, food is running out, you know, you can't, you don't have water and stuff like that, man. Hey, people will be like, hey, look, Hey, I'm, I'm throwing up the white flag. They Russians anyway, because <laughs> because they a lot of them are going to Russia. A lot of those Ukrainians, man, they like fuck that, man. Hey, we'll go ahead and, and you 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 providing us. Okay, we 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 coming to Russia then. Bet we down. It says Russia says it is targeting infrastructure as part of what is called the special military operation to degrade the Ukrainian military and remove what is said what it says is potential threat against its own security. Olympsi Kuleba, the governor of the Kyiv region, said the area, including the capital city itself, faced a 30 percent deficit in its capacity to regenerate the power it needs after overnight Russian strikes. Last night, the enemy damaged the facilities of the energy infrastructure of the region. A number of critical facilities have been disabled. Specifically, the Kyiv region's military administration said the region must prepare for emergency power outages for an indefinite period due to the strikes. So this could be all damn winter long. Not only hey, it, it's enough to, to be just it's enough to be cold, but to not be cold and in the dark. And hey, that's a different hookup right there, man. It says Ukrainian grid operator said the power grid across central Ukraine had been hit overnight and that further electricity supply restrictions were possible. Okay, so now they got a call to cut um, energy use. Let's see. Call to cut energy use. Russia has used airstrikes, missiles, and Iranian-made drones to step up its strikes again against Ukrainian infrastructure in recent weeks, leaving millions without electricity or heating, and sometimes water for lengthy periods of time. And you know who you got to blame for this? The U.S. Your NATO. Your NATO nations that, that wanted to put, uh, uh, you know, they, that, that want to turn, you know, Ukraine into a NATO um, spot, man. And that guy was like, hell no, no, we're not doing that. Fuck that. And he went straight. Uh, he went straight at their asses. So you have the Americans to thank for that. I mean, or, or you have your NATO nations to thank for um, 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 these millions of people being out of electricity and about to go into this cold ass winter, man. OK, it says. Olympsar Starouf. Governor of the southern 
Zaporizhia region said that the Russian shells had struck the outskirts of the city in the same name overnight and destroyed an unspecific infrastructure object. The Ukrainian military said that around two dozen Iranian-made Shahid-136 drones had targeted the south of the country after taking off from Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014. So they're annexing um, parts of um, Ukraine right now. It says, the Russian Defense Ministry, which said its forces had repelled attempted Ukrainian advances in the east, said it had destroyed a Ukrainian, Ukrainian military factory producing solid rocket fuel, explosives, and gunpowder near the town of Pavlograd. It said it had also shot down a Ukrainian Air Force Mi-8 helicopter. Reuters could not verify the battlefield accounts. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky in a late night address to the nation on Wednesday said he had held a meeting with government officials to discuss the energy crisis. So obviously that's that's in that's in play. He called on people to limit power use for the time being in many cities and Ukraine in regions of Ukraine. Emergency blackouts happen and power consumption has to be limited, he said. But we all have to remember one thing. We need victory over Russia in the energy sphere as well. Hey, and there you have it, man. And like I said again, this is um, you know, a big play on so-called white people fighting against so-called white people. You see, and we applaud it, man. We we you know, we're with this because this is what we pray for. We pray on a day-to-day -day basis that um, for the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom, man. You see what I'm saying? And matter of fact, let's get let's get one in the apocrypha. And these are simple basic scriptures that come out all the time. Um, you see, we already in there. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 7. And it reads, There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're, we're witnessing. You see, we're watching it from so many different levels. We're watching it from... Um, you know, um, 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 the small hatters, the 1948ers, we're watching them fall and cave and go crazy with this Kanye shit. We're watching it with all these these European countries and um, the Brit Britain going through a bunch. Man, all these European European countries are going through some shit, man. Their people are, are raising up, rising up against them. Their people are, are tired of their 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 um, tyranny, so to speak, or their their um, dictatorship, so to speak. So we're really down to the last of these prophecies, man. But let's get this right here as well, because this is one of the main things that um that comes out as well. Uh, Matthew twenty four, start at verse three. And he sat up as he sat and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, "Now they're asking Yahweh Shai, tell us." which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. We, his name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. We have to always bring that out. That's the true name of the son, our savior, our king, that the Lord, our father sent, which his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. And um, okay, but he says, and as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. I am Christ, or Mashiach, we call him, which is the anointed one, the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. These things are happening, man. And, and we don't go in enough into the earthquakes. It was an earthquake yesterday. As a matter of fact, it's hundreds of earthquakes on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, um, now, I think um, I seen a brother doing a video um uh, yesterday. I think it was or the day before. Um. I want to say that he said it has been like 4,000 earthquakes this month of the month of October. And see, they're, they're not really, you know, I try and jump off into them. We don't touch on them enough because that is a part of those prophecies. You know what I'm saying? Because that's also in, um, what's that? I think it's second address nine, you know, as well. Matter of fact, the Lord said to, um, 
since we in here. But these are things right here. Remember those things that the wars, rumors of wars will be happening. The pestilence, the famines, you know, because people are, are about to start going hungry here in these Americas. They already going hungry in places. You don't think that there's people not hungry over there in Ukraine right now with all this shit being bombed? It's, it's going on all over the globe. See, America hasn't gotten their real good taste of it yet. That's what it is. Let's get this um, second address nine and one real quick because it goes off into um, speaking um, of earthquakes as well. Second address nine and one. And, and, and um, the Lord told us to measure thou the time diligently. You know, it says um, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And where thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, see, and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand. See, we understand now that we're seeing these things um, up, up close and personal now. It says, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. See? So these things must come to pass. And, and, and you know, things are going to get real tight. It's going to get real nasty out here, man. And um, I was just watching the brother, uh, Gabar, another brother from um, Detroit here in uh, Michigan here. And he was going off into, uh, matter of fact, let me see how he titled it. Well, yeah, this was a part two to his video. It was um, um, Time is Running Out. And he was going off into um, the one scripture where it talks about... Uh, you can tell the seasons where well, he was talking about. I think he was talking to the Pharisees when well, you can tell the seasons. Like when you see the like right now it's fall. You can see the leaves are turning these pretty colors, orange, yellow, some trees, purple, depends on what the tree is. So, you know, it's fall because the leaves are dying and the leaves are falling off. So, you know, that that's a season and you know that fall is coming. That that means that, you know, that winter is, is, is near. Winter is going to come. Then as spring comes in, you know, you see things start to blossom. You know that it's spring. Then now, you know, that. In a little while after summer is going to come. So the Lord was basically going off into you can tell the seasons, but you can't tell the end days, these times that's going on when clearly the Lord is telling you there's going to be wars, rumors of wars, um, um, pestilence, famines. There's going to be um, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. There's going to be uproars of the people. There's going to be earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are happening. Now, the Lord spoke of these things thousands of years ago, 2000 years ago or so. And these things are in play right now. World War Three is on the brink of the um, revelations goes off into the third woe. Um, revelations 13 and 16 goes off into the um, them wanting to put the grain of rice in you. These are the last prophecies, man. We are living in the last days. It is high time to awake out of sleep. So this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because you are the true Hebrew Israelites. And this is the reason why Kanye is catching so much flack right now, or at least one of the reasons, because he's starting to, he put some information out there as far as you, you so-called blacks being Jews. So the small hatters, them 1948ers, those Belfort de Declaration people, they can't have that because their cover is being blown. Because people have already known this. It's not like this hasn't been known. This is information that's been known for hundreds of years, man. And it's, it's it, it, you know, it's been scrubbed because they own a lot of the media. And Kanye was right about them owning the media. He was right about them owning the record labels. He was right about them owning all the billboards and anything that, that's tangible that you can see or hear as far as newsworthy, news-wise. They're the ones that's running what you hear and see. Now... That's the reason why, you know, when we come, you, when you come into this truth, man, you got to study. The scripture says study and show thyself approved. So there may be certain things that you may have to just look up, man. You got to look up certain things. You can't just look at it. And that's why a lot of Christians are so damn lost because they just read the Bible like it's just a novel instead of them going off into some of those words in the Hebrew, words in the Greek, you know, words in Latin or, you know, the languages that, that were popular at that particular time because you can't use today's raggedy ass English to um to to basically interpret the scriptures man you got to go up into some of these words you got to you know go up into the precepts you see well we're definitely in the last days man I don't want to keep this long you know that was just something that I seen by the spirit 
And, um, you know, we're always searching for lessons to do. You know, we we strike while the iron is hot. You know, according to um, Apostle Ramlad, he used to say that. He still says it here and there. But we strike while the iron is hot, man. And these are, are hot stories that are really in the backdrop because everybody is concentrating on the wrong things, man. Don't let that Kanye shit and any of this stuff, man. Don't let Sunday game coming up, you know, the Super Bowl and who's going to make it and, you know, what's going on with LeBron and whoever, man. Look, man, we're living in the last days. It, hey, we're, we're on a day to day basis. You know, don't, don't don't think about all the stuff that's going on out here. Fuck all that future making. I got I'm going to do this. And nah, man, we're, we're, we're living day to day. That's why the scripture says um, um, in, the, in, in the the uh, the prayer. Our father, which are which are in heaven, you know, you know, hallowed be thy name. You know, basically provide me with my daily bread. We're living a day to day life in this place, man. This is fucking this is hey, we're living in our hell right now, basically. And, and we're walking and, and, and moving through the narrow gate. We want to be, you know what I'm saying? That's where you, you want to be moving through the narrow gate, man. Not that broad gate. You want to be moving through that narrow gate, keeping straight ahead and fuck this place, man. You get up, you do what you got to do. You handle your business and you go home, man. Continue on praying, keep on studying, keep on fasting because we're almost at the end of this thing. We are at the end of this thing, basically, but it's going to come a point where a hey, it, it, shit is going to shut down to the point where all those plans that all these other people are making it, it's going to be devastating to them because they're not going to be able to believe that they're not going to be able to do what they've been planning all this time. Look, man, we, we're at the end of this thing. This thing is a wrap, man. You see what I'm saying? So with that, pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.